Hey YouTube, this is uh, Multi Nerdism. Um, I have something to show you guys today. Uh, some of you might have seen it. Um, some of you maybe not. Um, I am a bit of a retro gamer, but I happen to get a iPod Touch for Christmas this year. And um, a lot of you might not think of the iPod Touch as a game console, or a portable gaming system, whatever, uh, but uh, it can be done. Uh, it can be done actually pretty well if you have the right games. Uh, I don't know much about the um, original library for the uh, iPod Touch, but I do have some ports and stuff, and what I wanted to show you was, well, my iPod is jailbroken, I wanted to show you a Super Nintendo emulator running on iPod. If I can ever get this in the shot, wait a minute. These are all save states, so it has uh, normal functionalities of uh, PC emulators and Mac emulators. I'm going to show you Super Metroid running on this thing. And I'm just continuing the game I already played, have been playing, sorry. See all the controls are mapped out uh, on the touch screen on the bottom half. Uh, the shoulder buttons are up here which makes it kind of weird, but I don't really use them in this game. Anyway, uh, this is for the menu, start select, d-pad, anyway, I'll show you how it plays. It's actually pretty good, as you can see, there's no frame rate issues, I don't know if the camera's picking this up as well, but there's no frame rate issues, the sound is, whoops, I have misses on, the sound is perfect. I mean, considering it's coming out of an iPod speaker, but... Like you can see, it's not too hard to maneuver. I'm not having any trouble, you know, playing the game. It's a bit harder than playing it on an emulator or on actual Super Nintendo, but... Uh, it's not bad. You know, it's not horrible. It's not unplayable. Uh, it's actually one of the coolest things for me about a jailbroken iPod is all the emulators. My friend told me he worries about me because I have a jailbroken iPod and I can put anything I want on it and the first thing I want to do is put games I've played a thousand times over. But, uh, in my opinion, those are the best. The best games are the ones I grew up with, and those are the ones I enjoy the most, so uh, I was pretty stoked to put this on. The only downside is you can't directly put these ROMs on your iPod through USB. You have to connect wirelessly. And you have to log in uh, via root. And I had a friend explain it to me because it was way too complicated for me to do on my own. But, uh, after you do that, it's fine. The one thing I do find about this game on the iPod is the bosses are more difficult because uh, you can't really maneuver as well. Like I already mentioned, uh, it's not that big of a problem, but there is a difference. See, I almost died, but I, I beat this Chozo statue thing, and fortunately he drops plenty of life. I used a save state before that, so... It's good. But, uh, yeah, that's that game. There are some games, though, on this emulator, uh that are kind of hard to play, like Donkey Kong Country, because of the button layout. 
the Y to run is so close to the D-pad. And you can't, it's hard to hold two buttons at the same time. Uh, Mega Man X is another one that's pretty hard. You have to hold Y to charge, and when you jump, this is a little bit loud, I often find that it lets go of uh, Y, even though your finger's still on it. So that kind of sucks, but, you know, it's... F well, this emulator wasn't exactly free, but I'm not going to pay money to emulate a system uh, when you can get emulators on the PC for free. I don't... I, these people are making money off piracy, basically, and uh, I think that's wrong. Some people might say emulation in itself is wrong, but... See, I just died already. Uh, but I think profit from emulation is even more wrong if it's not from the... Like Nintendo, their virtual console is pretty much emulation, but it's Nintendo selling you the game. These people are trying to sell the emulator to make a profit off of Nintendo's games, which I, I don't think is right. Watch me die again. Find the token. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I just pressed the jump button and I can't jump while holding this. I can throw it, but it's it's not that good. The button layouts are different. I find you can't hold Y and jump at the same time either. Because it'll let go. So, some games on this are, the difficulty uh, is a lot more noticeable than Super Metroid, just because uh, I use the default controls in Super Metroid, jump is A and fire is X, so they're far enough away from the D-pad that it doesn't really get in the way of my fingers. But you can play um, games in landscape mode, which is still weird, but landscape and sound. I don't know if you can see that, but the, there's a very faint. Let's see, that's the D-pad right there. That's the ABXY. It's very faint, but it's still there. I actually don't like this because your fingers end up covering the screen, like you can't even see what I'm doing right now. See, I, it's just too obstructive. Maybe if I uh. Turn scaling off. It might not work though. It's, it still has a lot of. Uh... Yeah, there's sound, but there's no video. So. That's not gonna work. Uh, but yeah, that's what I want to show you guys today. I'm probably gonna show you this too next time. This is actually from the App Store. I bought this for 99 cents. It's like the, uh... It's like an emulator for the one game, except it's officially released by Capcom. And this one also has a portrait and landscape mode, but the landscape mode on this one's way better. But yeah, I'll show you that next time. Until then, something, something, something. I don't have an outro to go with this video, so that'll have to do. See you guys later. This is Multi-Nerism. Peace out. Uh.